If you're a fan of Rick and Morty, you already know who they are. You don't need me to tell you what kind of mental issues any of them have. The genre of the show, the concept they come up with, it's why it's the most amazing show ever. You really don't need us to tell you too much about the show. If you're like me, then you're already anxiously waiting for Season 5's release on June 20th. In the meantime, you might have already checked and rechecked all the additional content like the companion podcasts, the Rick and Morty in the Eternal Nightmare Machine video game, and the extras available online and so on. You might have even started to read and write some fandom, as well as checking some of the impressive fan art out there. Sadly, all of this is just getting you more and more hooked for the series, isn't it? Who doesn't love a great TV show? And who among us couldn't use some more laughs in our lives? Especially when it's coming from the adventures and mishaps of an egomaniac scientist and his anxious yet good-willed grandson. You can't imagine how excited I was that one of my favorite shows is about to be back on the air. And with this, you're probably just as excited as I am. So let's not lose time jabbering. The Season 5 trailer, extras, and featured animatic were packed with hilarious stuff and some entertaining teasers. Let's do this. Number 10. Smith Family Dresses Like Power Rangers for number 10, we got impressed with the action sequence with the whole Smith family piloting a huge assembled robot, in the tradition of Voltron, Mazinger Z, and Power Rangers of course. Mecha suits, robots, and monsters were a huge thing back in the day, particularly among Japanese artists, who feared radiation effects on wildlife. Such nightmares inspired Godzilla first, and then hundreds of manga, anime, and TV shows like Ultraman. Taking such predecessors as an inspiration, Rick and Morty's creators have included some of this mecha warrior action in the show. The fifth season trailer shows the family ends up posing as Power Ranger style superheroes, all in various colors, ziplining down a sleek metallic tube. If you want to see the Smith family in their new mecha suits, all you have to do is wait. Yeah, I know, it sucks, but that's life, right? Number 9. It's quiet. Too quiet. I'm tired of hearing it's too quiet. That line is so overused. But seriously, why isn't Harry Potter still signing autographs? Can't you tell? For number 9, we found a funny fight between Rick and Summer arguing about this cliché. Overused expressions, or so-called clichés, are an easy target for sarcastic and passive-aggressive types like Rick. Still, it's funny to see how they argue about it, as Summer is a character with some hidden potential waiting to explode. Anyway, getting back to the tranquility and silence, we know that poison darts, silent jungles, and infinite outer space are all too quiet. Well, quiet, empty, void. They are quite the same thing, but you know what we're talking about. Good thing is, as an old movie poster said, no one will hear them screaming in space. Number 8. Smith House Under Attack from Rick's Nemesis Morty couldn't get the name of Rick's nemesis, and we could barely get that it's something ending in Megalodon. For spot number 8, Rick's nemesis is an androgynous character that rules the oceans. We can see it at the end of one of the featured teasers for Season 5, just after Morty manages to make a miraculous, life-saving landing on Earth. In one of the scenes, we can spot the Mr. Megalodon pulling down a dolphin-drawn, octopus-driven carriage up to Beth and Jerry's house. It's a lot more common to see Rick and Morty fighting and exploring other dimensions and planets. It is a bit unusual to have a dreaded enemy knocking on the door. And we're sure it's not to say hello. Number 7. Not in the face! It's hard to believe that we get used to transdimensional traveling and intergalactic warfare, but we don't want anyone punching Morty in the face. Morty might say things like he wants to go home sometimes, and then a mysterious alien will appear to scare him without actually hurting him. It's something we can relate to, thinking about the hilarious Morty's neuroticisms. But in Season 5, something different is going to happen. A dark, evil part of us actually wants just that. A weird, dog-looking alien will punch Morty in the face during the fifth season, and we need to know why. Number 6. Space Bath For spot number 6, we might be the victims of wishful thinking, or we might actually have found some signs of it. But we believe that Space Beth will be more active during Season 5, because we loved her. Space Beth is essentially a new character who has spent her entire adventurous life apart from the Smith family. You might have remembered that when she, uh, she came back. However, after returning home, her rapport and personality immediately blended in with the rest of her family, 
as though she's always lived with them. With all of Beth's spirit, Rick's galactic rebel past, and her dreams, she's quickly become one of our favorite characters on the show. Number 5. Galactic Federation Battles For spot number 5, we have found some action-packed episodes for sure. Rick and Morty might be featured as a comedy series, but the fifth season promises much more than just comedy. Still, it isn't completely new for a series plot. In previous seasons, some chapters features nerve-wracking action sequences. Let's just remember the fight scene with the President, Phoenix Person, and Pickle Rick, for example. Still, we can't compare those with the battle deck Rick and the family have against the Galactic Federation. The clash with the Space Cops, which was conceptually imaginative, hilarious, and packed with adventure tropes, was one of the series' true highlights. Fans are hoping that with the formation of the new Galactic Federation, Season 5 of Rick and Morty will have enough to prove to win their hearts. Would you expect some Galactic Federation battles or not? Let us know in the comments down below. Number 4. Transdimensional Travel Rick says there will be no time travel in the show, even though it's a sci-fi program. But for spot number 4, one thing is time travel, which is downright silly, and another thing is transdimensional travel. Previously, Morty used time travel in his Rewind adventure in the Vat of Acid episode, and the comic duo specifically, although reluctantly, used time travel to save the world in Rattlestar Galactica. However, it's almost impossible to live an entire season without traveling inside Rick and Morty's multiverse. We're looking forward to learning more about the new alternative dimensions, more hilarious Mortys, and bizarre possibilities taken to their most absurd limits. And that's what's fun about it, isn't it? Number 3. Jessica and Morty have a date Though romance is often a large part of a successful films and series, it's not the most appealing to the cynical fans and characters alike. I mean, if you were completely jaded about love, would you want to watch two people fall in love? Still, for number 3, Morty will call Jessica on the brink of death to tell her his feelings about her. And as we look at a teaser, Jessica corresponds to Morty's feelings and answers inviting him to a date that very night. The romantic moment presented without too much romance really inspires Morty and gives him a reason to go the extra mile, saving the day. Although, not for too long. Will Morty get his date on time? And now get ready for today's top pick. Best pick, high quality fan art. Rick and Morty's enthusiasts have proven to be the most dedicated pop culture fans on the earth. The show's concept of endless possibilities has resulted in an outburst of acclaim, with many applauding its ingenuity and irony as among the best they've seen on television today. With such a vibrant community, it isn't surprising to find high quality fan art, such as our best pick image. The illustration depicting Rick holding Morty in a common anxious expression took inspiration from one episode from season one, not from the fifth season. Still, it's an impressive work of art, and there are hundreds or even thousands available on Reddit and other communities. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 1. Morty saves Rick from certain death again. I'm starting to think Morty is Rick's secret weapon. Sure, the cynical genius with a dark ego looks stronger than the anxious teenager, but the truth is that Morty is a hero, and he proves it again and again during the fifth season animatic. Running away from enemy forces, with Rick unconscious in his arms, Morty manages to board a ship and land it on Earth. As annoying as it looks, Rick's first reaction after recovering his consciousness is complaining about how he landed it on the ocean. Just a few seconds later, we realize that here resides Rick's nemesis, the androgynous evil villain with a villain with an impossible name ending in Megalodon. Conclusion: You might not have thought Rick and Morty's fifth season could go top their previous four, but you are in for a treat. This season is full of cynicism, sarcasm, dimensional travel, and action. We can't predict the most of the fifth season plot, although the available content does give us many ideas that they're just teasing to lure us into many wild plot twists and hilarious moments we will have for sure. It has everything from complete destruction of Earth, alien planets, or the multiverse. We could easily imagine an epic battle between everyone's favorite villain, the Mad Hatter. 
Well, the Mad Hatter isn't on the show, but it's certainly a horrifying villain. Keep watching our amazing videos. We promise it'll be worth your while. Stay tuned for that great content.